hello and welcome back to my channel today i am filming a perfume collection they are probably my favorite to have a video right now to watch so i thought i'd do mine because i don't know i quite like my perfumes obviously if you are new please do subscribe i would love to have you in my teeny tiny little family um but yeah let's just get straight into it i'm going to do it from my least favorite to my most favorite but not that i don't like my least it's just like the bottom of my favorites so my, my first perfume is bonbon and it is by victor and rolf this one is my least favorite at the moment because it's very very sweet and we are in winter and i'm definitely not into the fruity sweetness of this right now it is like such a nice perfume but it's my least used you can see that it's not it's not very loved unfortunately it's this one's the limited edition one um and it, the only thing that it's limited edition is the little bow um the scent is exactly the same but i'm just going to look to see uh how it's described so the top notes are mandarin orange peach and the heart notes are caramel jasmine and orange blossom okay so my next perfume is this teeny tiny one this one is pakaraban it's called black x x x s black excess black excess yes i've heard of it <laughs> it just sounded weird saying that it is really nice it's not sweet like the other one was so the notes for this one is charming feminine oh wait top notes are pink pepper berries cranberries and the heart notes are black violet and cocoa flower um with black vanilla I don't actually know what any of that means but it is a great perfume i do really enjoy it and i went through a phase of like only wearing this so if you're in the market for something that is a little bit less sweet it's definitely a bit darker and i love this i love all of them my next perfume is flower bomb by victor and rolf this is not the main one this is the summer collection so it's even fruitier which is probably why it's slightly at the bottom i love the main one i just saw this one and i picked this one up the main one is a little bit less sweet and more wearable i guess you could say my next fragrance this one um this is alien i used to have the um purple lid it was like a completely purple bottle but the lid was just broken and it wouldn't spray so i took it back to debenhams and they just gave me like another little lid the top notes are jasmine sambac the heart notes are cashmere cashmere wood and the base notes are white amber this is a really really great perfume i wouldn't know how to describe this one I feel like if you've ever heard of this perfume then you know what I'm talking about but it is very strong it does linger on the clothes a lot and I really love this my next perfume is Mon Paris butchering that completely it definitely reminds me more of a summer scent it's got like a little spice kick like in the middle I don't know how to explain that but it is a great perfume i smelt it on a girl once and i fell in love with it and i just had to buy it and i still love it now but it's just not my most loved if you're in the market for a ysl perfume i would definitely recommend this one or my next one which is black opium black opium is very popular i'd never actually heard about it until a friend recommended me to it and then i fell in love with it it's definitely more like woody than the rest of them so far it's very it's very dark it's very sexy it definitely reminds me of like a night out type of perfume like i wouldn't wear this to the park with my kids i don't know how to, i like i associate certain perfumes with like 
occasions um this is just like a night out or like a dinner like a date night or something like that if i'm going out i most certainly will be wearing this but this is my everyday perfume I call it everyday because if i'm like running out the door then i if i'm not doing anything like fancy then i'll probably put this one this is burberry touch and it's like a really great everyday fragrance it's not too sweet it's probably the most affordable out of all of them and i love it i mean you can see that i'm pretty into it and i got this one as a gift for my birthday so six months ago no less than that way less than that four or five months ago something like that now we are down to my top fragrances for the moment and Gucci Bloom I am adoring I've had this for not very long I've only had it for about a month and I love it it definitely smells like roses it has like a powdery scent but it's very like feminine and it's very fun and I have been loving this it's not like sweet like fruity that's what I mean by sweet. My next perfume, I have to put it as number two, even though I want to put it as number one because my number one, I just, I can't betray it. And it's this one. I will not pronounce that name because I just cannot, but I'll write it down somewhere. It smells wonderful. Like this smells so good. I am obsessed with it. It wears really nicely. I have been wearing it every single day for the past month and a half I'd say. It smells like vanilla-y and it's sweet but it's woody and it's just so delicious. My last one is Chloe. This is like my all-time favourite scent. The notes on it are rose. You can definitely smell it but it's not like an obvious rosy scent like with Bloom fragrance. You can definitely smell that it's rose this one just smells more like flowerly it's absolutely delicious whenever someone wears it i instantly know what it is whenever i wear it i just get loads of loads of compliments on it i always say that when i get married this is the fragrance that i'll be wearing i have been wearing it since i was like 16 and i never get tired of it it just smells so nice it's just such a classic scent it's great in the summer it's great in the winter Oh, and I just love this so much. If you've never smelt this, then I definitely recommend you go in and just have a little sniff because this is just what dreams are made of. I adore this perfume um, forever and ever. I've got like three spares waiting for me because everyone knows I love it. I always get this for Christmas and I never complain about it. But that is the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. I